what happened in 1984 was we started having trouble with septic tanks. Um, they found out that they wasn't perking, so they had perk tests done throughout the city and found out that the city was just saturated at the time. Um, and they told us they, they weren't going to issue no more building permits in Bloomingdale until we found something, a different way to get rid of the sewage. So the city looked into gravity flow and they looked into low pressure sewer. And the more we looked into low pressure sewer, the better we liked it over the gravity. And so we, we, we went with the low pressure sewer system in 1984. Um, I come to work for the city of Bloomingdale in 1989. Um, we had roughly about 700 grinder pumps at the time. Um, we're up to over a thousand pumps that we have in the ground now. One of the advantages of the all-terrain sewer is the depth of the mains is what we found really. Uh, most The deepest main we have in Bloomingdale here is not but three foot deep. So whenever you're out here doing, this, doing the installs yourself and you're tapping the mains and running laterals, um, you know, three, a three foot hole is nothing to dig out here. Um, I, a lot of the gravity out here, they're 15, 20 foot deep. My first impression when I first started with the city of Bloomingdale and I looked at a grinder pump, my first impression was what was I thinking? You know, I mean, you look at these things and, and you just think they're going to be horrible to work on. You have no idea what to do. Um, but I will say I, after I started here, we called the factory and the factory actually sent a representative down. He showed us how to work on grinder pumps. He was here two days and he showed me how to work on the pumps. They're just, they're that easy to work on. Wascon uh, has a, a strict focus on service. That's what their company was built on. Their logo, Wascon, was der derived from the words water and sewer controls. But when I looked at Wascon, I saw a different meaning, which was we're a service company of notoriety. The Wascon relationship with E1 is fantastic. Uh, we work very close with, with their salespeople, with their engineering groups, and the, the turnaround of information for projects from E1 is just, a, it's just unbelievable how quick and how much they can help you at no cost to the customer. And I think that's one of the primary, primary reasons that, that we, uh, we can talk to our customers and say, look, we can help you and we can have you answers by tomorrow. I have two guys that's on call all the time. Um, during business hours from 8 to 4.30, I got one guy that works on the pumps. Um, like I said, we have over a thousand pumps in the ground. Um, I wouldn't have believed it when I first started. I wouldn't have believed you could run a thousand pumps with two guys. Um, I was thinking it was going to take a full crew to do everything, but like I said, once we got into the pumps and we found out just how easy they were and, and how efficient they work, um, you could really do it with just one person. So, I mean, we've, we'll go months and not have a call. We're going through a phase now where we're trying to swap out the old ones. I still have pumps in the ground that were put in in 84 that are actually still working today. The craziest thing we ever found working on it, we found a screwdriver in a grinder pump. And the homeowner said they kept hearing noises and then finally the pump quit. Well, we went out there and pulled the grinder pump out and when we, was, when we were changing it out, we found a screwdriver that got wedged in between the cutter wheel and the shredder ring. Uh, we took the screwdriver out, put the pump back together and stuck it back in the ground and it went right back to working.